Hey everyone, welcome to the Interop. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stake your FMOS tokens if you are using a ledger device, one of these guys. So if you're using a ledger device, you may have heard or you may have experienced the problem that Kepler doesn't currently support Ledger and Evmo. So when you open your Kepler wallet and you try to access the Evmos part of the wallet, you're presented with a message that says that it's unable to load the keys. And that's because Kepler doesn't support the specific keys that Evmos needs to generate both the Cosmos address and the Ethereum address. Uh, because Evmos being an EVM chain on Cosmos has both address formats. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get around that. It took me a while to figure this out. Like for a while, I wasn't staking my Evmos because I don't know. I mean, I use Kepler. I'm, I'm a cosmonaut. I use Kepler most of the time. And, you know, I don't really use MetaMask a whole lot. And so uh, it, it's kind of a pain that, you know, we have to suffer the consequences and use this inferior wallet because Kepler is so much better than, than MetaMask. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you here how to do that. So, you know, if you go over to the FMOS mission control website and, you know, you want to stake your, uh, you want to stake your FMOS over here, you connect your Kepler wallet and you're probably familiar with this message. Your action is required. If you're claiming uh, to a ledger account, uh, ledger, uh, Kepler's ledger accounts are currently not supported on FMOS due to coin type 118 and F. Evmos and all EVM based chains use coin type 60. And essentially, this is because Cosmos chains use a different sort of address format than EVM chains. So, well, you're kind of stuck here and there's nothing really that you can do. Well, there is, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, instead of using the Mission Control website, uh, I found that these websites are, are a little bit of a better experience than using uh, the mission control website. So instead of staking using Kepler, we're going to stake using MetaMask. And so to do that, you go to evmos.me and under the assets tab over here, you're going to connect your wallet and that will show you both your hex address, which is your Ethereum address, which you're probably familiar with if you've used you know, MetaMask before and your uh, BEX32 address, uh, which starts with FMOS and is more familiar if you've been using Cosmos-based wallets that usually start with the chain name. So once we're connected, we're gonna go over to stake. And here we're gonna see the list of validators that are available. Like I currently have 622 FMOS stake, then some rewards here that I could eventually claim and, and restake. And so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go down uh, I'm going to search for Interop, which is the validator that, that I run. And I would invite you to also stake with uh, Interop Ventures Validator. And you go over to Manage. And here you're going to put the amount. So we can put, uh, well, since we have, well, zero coins now, we're going we're gonna to put one. But you get the idea. And then you're going to send the transaction. And that will pop open MetaMask and ask you to sign that transaction. With your ledger device, of course, you've got to have it plugged in and uh, and ready to sign so open the ethereum app in your ledger wallet in order to sign that transaction you can also go over to the uh, dispersa network uh, website so they also run validators and so once you go to dispersa network or evmos.dispersa network and i'll put the links in the show notes you connect using your MetaMask and you're presented with a similar interface. We can see here that I've staked with Interop Ventures and that I have 48 Evmos uh, here as rewards. So you can also manage your delegations here, similarly to how you would, you know, how you're familiar with usually. And what's nice about uh, the Dispersion Network website is that you can also do compound staking. So you can enable uh, compound staking, which allows you to essentially restake your staking rewards every epoch enabling you to you know get 10 well here it says you know plus 9.15 percent in extra rewards which is pretty good you know because if you compound that daily uh you know that ends up being a yearly apy of twenty thousand percent pending you know the apy uh remaining sort of stable which of course it won't it's, it's going to go down over time because the tokenomics uh, makes it such that this apr uh, will will reduce over time 
But I mean, this is still a pretty good APY if you're compounding. So I would encourage you to do that if you can. So there you go. That's how you stake your Evmos tokens using a ledger wallet. Hopefully this will get resolved at some point and we can all go back to using Kepler and be happy and you know not have to use MetaMask. But for now, this is how we have to do it and we have to deal with it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I interview founders and developers and entrepreneurs in the Cosmos ecosystem pretty regularly and also consider delegating to my validator, Interop Ventures, uh, if you like the content that I'm putting out there. So see you next time and thanks for watching.